Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started now. And um, so here we go. So welcome to our Take the Talks that of Cleaning class. Hi, my name is Keith Morales, and I'm with Access Complete Wellness. And um, I'm doing this class as opposed to Lynn for a couple of reasons. Well, number one, she's preparing uh, for teaching two classes next week, and uh, she's a little busy with that. And also, I just kind of want to show that, you know, hey, it's okay for a guy to um, be, you know, to worry about the toxins that are in the cleaning products that are in their home uh, that affect them, their wives, loved ones, and pets. So that's another reason why I'm doing this. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, one thing, um, if it sounds during this class uh, like as if I'm reading, reading the script, well, it's because I am, I have notes, because I have a lot of information about a lot of important stuff that has to deal with your health, wellness, and well-being, and I wanna make sure that I cover it, and I cover it right. So um, that's, you know, I'll do my best to make it all flow. Also, just to let you know up front, I have a glass of water here, I got a slight tickle in my throat, and I'm gonna do my best to get through this without too much uh, interference. So toxic cleaning. You know, it's easy to assume that anything you buy from the store must be safe. But in reality, that's just not the case. The most you'll probably find on a toxic cleaning product is a warning label accompanied by a poison control hotline number that you call if the product is accidentally ingested. Unfortunately, just because it's meant for cleaning doesn't mean that it's healthy for you or for your body. Household cleaning products are crammed with chemicals that are, fully dis that are not fully disclosed. Um, sometimes they're not approved. And we know that sometimes that it can be causing harm to you, your family, pets, loved ones, and just everybody. The average household has about 62 chemicals, according to the environmental experts. Um, ingredients in common household cleaners have been linked to asthma, cancer, reproductive disorders, hormone disruptions, and neurotoxicity. Studies of the people who work as cleaners have found uh, that they have lung damage similar to that of people who smoke. 20 cigarettes a day. It's pretty disrupting and disturbing if you ask me. When it comes to pets and children, you know, they regularly play on the floor. You should pay close attention to the uh, type of floor, floor cleaners that you're using. In many commercial brand floor cleaners, the vapors that linger around uh, after you clean can be very dangerous. Um, you should do your research to find pet safe floor cleaner, which will be safe for the baby and people who walk on it barefooted. Or you may, you know, it's a good idea to use your own floor cleaner uh, that you can make out of natural products so that you know exactly what's in it. The same goes for surface cleaners and yard and garden products. If anyone is likely to be eating off the surfaces or walking or playing on the surface, you should do your best to ensure that the products you use to clean those areas are free and clear of harmful toxins. So what do you think is the most dangerous cleaning product? The most dangerous cleaning products are corrosive drain cleaners, oven cleaners, and acidic toilet bowl cleaners. Yeah, you know that pretty blue stuff you spray under the rim? That's some pretty bad stuff. Corrosive chemicals can cause severe burns on the eyes, skin, and if ingested on the throat and esophagus. Ingredients to look out for include chlorine bleach and ammonia, which produce fumes that are highly irritating and can trigger asthma attacks. And then we'll go into more detail on that in, shortly. Federal guidelines, okay. Well, cleaning products, unlike fruit products, food products and beverages and cosmetics and other personal care products are not required by the federal law to carry a list of ingredients. For years, companies have claimed that providing a full list of ingredients would go against their rights to keep the formula preserved and private. In fact, just 7% of cleaning products on the market adequately disclose their contents. This means that manufacturers have no reason to avoid risky chemicals that happen to clean well even if they trigger asthma attacks, skin rashes, or other, and that are the things that are linked to cancer. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, a federal agency charged with protecting consumers from thousands of types of products uh, such as this, only have about 500 employees nationwide. Um, and this means a lot of dangerous products slip through the cracks, and then you have to have recalls. Instead of being warned up front, they're just gonna recall and tell you about it later. Toxic burden. So some people know what this is. You know, every day our bodies fight against the myriad of toxins that you're exposed to 
Manufacturers argue that in small amounts, toxic ingredients in household cleaners aren't likely to be an issue, such as taking a dip into a pool treated with chlorine. But routine exposure in combination with other chemicals, you know, really haven't been studied. So there's no way to accurately gauge the risk that's involved with using the chemicals. Chemical disease, disease connection. So what we do know is that chronic exposure to toxic fumes and chemicals, chemicals leads to what is known as body toxic burden or body burden. This refers to the total accumulation of toxins in your body, specifically the number of chemicals stored in your tissue at any given time. When your system is exposed to too many heavy metals, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, or other toxins, it becomes fatigued and loses its, its ability to flush them out. This leads to illness such as heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disorders, neurodegenerative diseases, fibromyalgia, hormone imbalance, and even infertility. And that's just to name a few. So <clears throat> before I go any further, let me just mention this. Some of the names of the chemicals I'm gonna talk about are not your typical everyday words. So I'm not really familiar with their pronunciation. So did I learn how to pronounce them? Yes, okay, <laughs> but you know, oh well, if I mess up a couple of the pronunciations, um, then please give me a break. So, but anyway, think about this. How many of you ever heard of the saying, if you can't pronounce the ingredients, you shouldn't use it, consume it, or put it on your body. So just think about that. So this word, I would have pronounced it something totally different. It's phthalates. I would have said Pilates, but you know, it's not. It's phthalates. It's found in many household products such as fresheners, dish soaps, and even toilet paper. Phthalates are chemicals used to extend aromatic strength in scented products. Okay, get that. Scented products. Phthalates are also known to disrupt hormone secretion and can cause infertility. Although exposure mainly occurs through inhalation, it can also be absorbed through the skin through scented soap products. So when you wash your hands and you smell that pretty whatever, that's a problem. You know, the skin, unlike the digestive system, has no safeguards against toxins. So basically it absorbs chemicals and those chemicals go straight to the organs. Antibacterial really doesn't mean antibacterial. So there's a, there's a chemical called triclosan and it's found in most liquid dishwashing detergents and hand soaps that are labeled antibacterial. So if something's labeled antibacterial, you want to have caution with that. While this chemical works well as an agent that can promote the growth of drug-resistant drug bacteria, it can also disrupt hormone function when it's a possible carcinogen. More than that, other studies have found that rivers and streams have dangerous carcinogenic and tricycline levels. It's, you know, it's toxic to algae, and it's a major disruptor of the ecosystem. To avoid these, use simple detergents and hand soaps with short ingredient lists. Also, while you're reading the, the ingredient list, if it's something that you can't pronounce, chances are it's not good for you. Um, sometimes there are alcohol-based hand sanitizers that are good for you, but don't worry about it. I'll make some recommendations at the end of the presentation that we know are okay and also even possibly good for you. Scented laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. Your ocean breeze or fresh cotton scented laundry detergent might smell great to your nose, but it's extremely dangerous to your overall health. If one of the ingredients in the product is listed as fragrance, chances are that that product has a cocktail of non-natural chemicals that are likely to be more toxic than good for you. So all the, all the manufacturers have to do is list the word fragrance since it's not really regulated, so understand that. Studies have found that one third of all scented detergents contain at least one chemical flagged by the EPA as potentially cancer causing. On average, toxic laundry detergent produces and emits 17 toxins that go unlisted on the label and which can cause problems ranging from skin irritation to neurological damage. So just think about it. You're using detergent, not just to wash everything you wear, but to wash the fabric that you breathe into for hours every night when you're sleeping. If you're using detergent, fabric softeners, bleach, brighteners, or other masking agents, chances are something toxic is lurking in the bottle. Quaternary ammonium compounds, or clots. That's an interesting one. This chemical is another type of antimicrobial, which poses the same problems as trisalam, 
by you know, helping to breed antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Furthermore, it's a skin irritant. One 10-year-old study of contact dermatitis found that quats to be one of the leading causes. Quats are found in fabric softener and most household cleaners labeled antibacterial. Again, there's that, that word that you want to be, that sends up red flags. So if you have sensitive skin or prone to skin irritation, make sure and be aware of this chemical. Okay, so here's another good one. Butoxyethanol. I would have said butoxyethanol, but nope, it's pronounced butoxyethanol. And it's a key ingredient in window, kitchen, and multipurpose cleaners. There's a specific one called 2-butoxyethanol that can cause extreme irritation when inhaled in an unventilated area, like bathroom. So that's not a good place to be using products that have that. According to the Environmental Protection Agency's website, high levels of 2-butoxyethanol in mild cases can cause sore throats, but over time can cause contribute to car carcinomous pulmonary edema. <laughs> it can also contribute to severe liver and kidney damage, uh, just to mention a few. Unfortunately, law does not require the 2 bioxyphenol to be listed on product labels. That's interesting. I can't believe that, but anyways. So your best bet is to do a DIY product you know, from natural ingredients or do some research about the types of products that you buy. Again, I'm gonna have some alternative solutions and recommendations later in this presentation. Okay, so here's one I can say, ammonia. This is, um, you know, in any cleaning product, if, if the cleaning product says street-free shine, then ammonia is most likely the main ingredient. Unfortunately, ammonia is a powerful irritant and it will affect you right away. I mean, that's like immediate. The smell of itself is harsh and pungent. I mean, you don't wanna get that too close to your nose. The people who are most susceptible to dangers of ammonia people with lung and breathing problems and, and you know like the elderly because it's hard to avoid breathing in ammonia during the use people who get a lot of ammonia exposure like housekeepers will often develop chronic bronchitis and asthma as an important side note ammonia can also create a pungent gas when it's mis uh, not just that but when you mix it with something like when, when you mix ammonia what was it when you mix ammonia and bleach like uh, babo or, or comet with bleach, it can produce a poisonous gas. So if you're in an enclosed area, like a bathroom, cleaning and you mix it, it's not good for you and it's probably gonna cause a severe headache and other damage. Okay. Chlorine, we're all familiar with that one. Since it's such a common chemical in our daily lives, and, and any excess exposure to chlorine can cause chronic disease over time. When you clean with it, you breathe it in, and it's possible you can even absorb through your skin because you're cleaning with it without gloves. Um, just gotta be careful or don't use it at all. Chlorine is also in the city water uh, to cleanse it of bacteria. So that's why we recommend that you use a water purification system, uh, either whole house, or if you can't do that, then it use, at least use one underneath your, your kitchen sink where people get their primary source of drinking water or make sure your refrigerator has a filter in it for your drinking water. And we have some solutions for that as well that we can discuss later. Anyways, Exposure can lead to toxic burden, which we talked about earlier, so it's best to avoid it at all if possible. Here's a good one, sodium hydroxide, otherwise known as lime, okay? Sodium hydroxide is it's extremely abrasive. It's used in oven cleaners and drain cleaners because it does such a great job of destroying everything that gets in its way. Its powerful ability to clean away grime also makes it extremely dangerous. If it touches your skin or gets in your eyes, it can cause severe burns. And inhaling sodium hydroxide can cause a sore throat that lasts for days, if not for weeks. So all these chemicals are not only harmful to you, but we can, you know, have to think of the bigger picture. In addition to affecting the personal health of you and your loved ones, using toxic cleaning products can also threaten water quality and wildlife after they disappear from your house down the drain. Many of the chemicals we discuss are not readily biodegradable in soil and water, so they hang around as pollutants forever. The presence harms wildlife, but also, think about this, also eventually makes its way back to us. The water we pollute will eventually be consumed by us, or at least by the plants and the animals that we consume. What about the river? Phosphates, a water softening mineral additive that was once widely used in laundry detergent and other cleaners, can act as a fertilizer, spawning an overgrowth of algae. The overabundance of aquatic plant life sucks away the oxygen within the water, which in turn kills off fish 
and other organisms, disrupting the entire surrounding ecosystem in return. Fortunately, many states have banned the use of phosphates and laundry detergent, but they're still widely used in automatic dishwasher detergents. Why they just didn't ban them in both places, I don't know. So the idea is to clean smarter, but just because it's in a green bottle, a cardboard box, or has some natural theme design to it, doesn't mean that it's non-toxic. Terms such as natural and eco-friendly, and I'm, I'm using air quotes as I say that, should not be equated with safety unless they're backed up by specific ingredient information such as solvent-free, no petroleum-based ingredients, and no phosphates. The term non-toxic also has no official definition. So unless a third party has verified the claim, I wouldn't take it at face value. So the idea is to find products that you can trust. But marketers know that being environmentally friendly is on a trend. So they design the products to make it seem like they're eco-friendly as well. For example, many aerosol spray cans have labels that say no CFCs, no chlorofluorocarbons. I probably butchered that one, but anyways, and that depletes the ozone layer, leading consumers to believe they're buying a more eco-friendly product. In reality, CFCs have been banned from aerosols since 1978. I didn't know that, but anyways, this makes the label meaningless, used purely, purely to be market employed. This is called greenwashing or green marketing. So just do your research, read the labels, and knowledge is power. The best thing you can do is eliminate the toxins. So you can start doing this right away. You can do it by using fewer products less often. Find a few multi-purpose products that work really well and use the remainder of what you have very sparingly. Or even better, don't even use them. Dispose of them um, in a safe way and get them out of your house. There's a lot of cities now that have special fertility facilities that will collect the toxins from your home. Um, if this service is unavailable to you, um, don't throw them. You know, I would recommend you know, not to pour them down the drain, but to put them in your trash where they can be disposed of a little bit differently. The best thing to do is replace all the products. Buy from companies you trust and do your research. Find out their mission statements. Does it include something about the environment? Does it refuse to test on animals? If so, these are signs that the company is probably pretty ethical and confident that their products won't cause you harm, cause your loved ones harm or anybody who's in your home. The company that we've chosen to do this is Young Living. That's the company that we know is ethical. We researched them. They have a seed to seal promise and I'll get into that a little bit later. Another option is to make your own cleaning products, which kind of be messy and, and you know, well, actually just messy but then you can use the cleaning product to clean up the mess. So anyways, natural ingredients that you have in your home will work such as baking soda, vinegar, lemon juice, and vodka. So, okay, the vodka is for making the cleaning product, not for making drinking because you're frustrated. But anyways, like I said, these things are already in your pantry probably and can double as household cleaners um, and they are natural. So what we have chosen to replace all the toxic cleaners in our home is a product line called Thieves by Young Living. Young Living has taken their Thieves essential oil and has infused it into a myriad of products for cleaning surfaces in your home, from cleaning your clothes, your dishes, your hands, and your teeth. And it can be used in all these areas. Um, I don't know about that. So, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit in more detail in a little bit. So the Thieves essential, essential oil basically is a blend of powerful and a combination of several oils. They call it a blend. So it has clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary essential oil. Uh, it smells awesome. It's rich, spicy. It's not harsh, chemically smelling. Um, it's one of the most popular products. Um, and it's included in many of the home cleaning and personal care products that Young Living makes. It's a key ingredient in um, their Thieves household cleaner, water hand purifier, Thieves wipes, and Thieves foaming hand soap. There's a bunch of other ones that we'll cover in a little bit. Thieves blend, we believe is your go-to uh, product for you know, cleaning and having things smell great. Um, it's actually more like fall baking than harsh chemical cleaning formulas. So the history of Thieves, why do they call it Thieves? I thought that was a pretty interesting name when I first heard it and made no sense to use to call cleaning product. But anyway, the 
The essential oil blend was inspired by the legend of four 15th century French thieves who formulated and wore a special aromatic combination of cloves, rosemary, vinegar, and other botanicals that they believed provided protection while they were stealing. French authorities recognized that, that there was such a valuable, this was such a valuable in its mixture that upon the thieves' capture, the thieves received the more merciful punishment on the condition that they would divulge the ingredients in the secret formula. The, you know, so that's where the name thieves came from. So thieves is, in, is included uh, as, a, as a cleaning, as, as a product or a, a part of the cleaning line that Young Living offers. And again, like I said earlier, it's in some of their personal care, it's in a full range of home cleaning products, dish soap, toothpaste, laundry detergent, and so on. And it's possibly the most um, versatile essential oil blend that they produce. Well, this is one of the things that Lynn and I use most in our home. This is a multi-purpose cleaner and depending on how you dilute it, it's awesome. It's concentrated, uh, versatile, it gives you a deep clean when scrubbing, it's degreasing, you can use it for spot cleaning, uh, dusting, and there's a whole lot more that they can do all with our harsh chemicals. It's a spicy aroma, it's plant-based, and it's great to use around everyone in your family, including your pets. Uh, it creates a clean, welcoming, warm space that's perfect for everyone. The scent is not harsh, it smells good, um, and um, we love it. And depending on how you dilute it, you can use it in all these different areas on your Toilets and sinks, tiles, with linoleum, carpet counters, bathtub, shower fixtures, windows and glass. Yes, as a window cleaner and glass cleaner. We use it to clean the stove. We use it in the laundry, uh, stains and spills. Oh, that's a good one for that. Dishes uh, and the dishwasher. You can use it for scuffs on walls, toys, anything you want to um, clean. It's a great vehicle freshener, pet odors and messes. Uh, yeah, you know that one. It cleans grout and wallpaper. Uh, without destroying it, and it does a lot, lot, lot more. So it's, it's very versatile. Another thing about it is that it's, it's powerful, it's concentrated, and I mentioned before, it's plant-based. So one 14-ounce bottle, when you mix it, uh, using the medium degreasing concentration, is gonna make you about 29, 16-ounce bottles. And the reason why it's concentrated is because instead of having multiple cleaning products, depending on how you dilute it, is the kind of product that you want to use it for. So if it's heavily diluted, you don't want to use it on your windows. It's more of a powerful degreasing. If it's slightly diluted, then it's okay to use on windows and, and linoleum and wood floors and things like that. So but it comes with, with great instructions and there's a lot of educational material around it on how to properly use it. There's other products that you can substitute out that has the feeds essential oil blend in it. There's a spray, the spray is awesome. Um, it's easy, it can fit in your backpack, it can fit in a purse. Just one small phrase, sprays, freshens, counter sinks, door hop, doorknobs, handles, toilets, <laughs> okay? And um, it's plant-based ingredients and it's great. Pop it in, like I said, in your backpack, your luggage, take it anywhere you go. Um, and it, you know, how many times are we in public restrooms and, you know, you might want to have something with you, boom, you have it right there. Um, there's also wipes that are infused with the power, powerful properties of thieves. Um, these are ideal for use on any surface that you feel the need to clean, such as, again, door handles, toilet seats, kitchen and bathroom counters. However, it's not to be used on infants or on sensitive skin areas of the body. So they also have veggie spray. A lot of people don't consider that, that that shiny little coat on the apples and different things like that, that's really not good for you. So you can use a veggie spray to, uh, that's, that's with all natural ingredients, it has a thieves essential oil blend in it, and lime, um, you spray it on the vegetables, it cleans uh, produce no matter where you are, because you're carrying it with you in the little sprayer, convenient two ounce spray. Um, again, it can go in your purse, backpack, carry on. You spray it on the vegetables, rinse it with water, it's great to eat, and it's just the way nature intended it to be eaten. There's also fruit and veggie soap, slightly a little bit different product. This you use for your fruits and vegetables, Again, all natural, it's effective uh, to clean your produce and that way you can enjoy clean fruits and vegetables when you're eating. Um, <clears throat> in the kitchen, I mean, it's pretty easy. There's an automatic dishwasher powder. It's also concentrated, meaning that the loads require only about one tablespoon. Uh, for heavy duty loads, maybe two tablespoons and leave the dishes uh, spotless 
And if you have hard water at home, we recommend using a citric acid based rinse. Again, it's all natural. Um, this ensures that your dishes stay clean and sparkling. This doesn't, does not have synthetic surfactants, artificial fragrances, dyes, phosphates. And it's not bulky, wasteful packaging. It's environmentally friendly, it's biodegradable, and compatible with septic systems. You can feel good about using this, and it's not going to put the, the crap into the water system as it drains your dishwasher. There's also Thieves dish soap. Again, it's natural, um, it's powerful, and it's, it's concentrated. Um, only thing some people say about this is it doesn't have stuff in it that makes it bubbly. So, you know, bubbles don't necessarily equate to being clean. It's the, uh, the content of the product. This is also made without phosphates, dyes, perfumes, gentle on your skin and whenever dry out your hands. Then there's Steve's uh, laundry soap. Um, again, it's made up of plant-based ingredients. There's no chemicals or synthetic residue. It has natural enzymes and powerful essential oils that leave your clothes fresh and clean. It has like a fresh citrus fresh smell to it. And so you will have a little bit of a, that, that fresh smell aroma, but it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna be bad for you. It works in all types of washers and 32 ounce bottle can be used for up to 64 loads of laundry. So here's some stuff to clean your hands on the go as well. Um, it's waterless purifier, the one ounce size. It's uh, awesome, it's quick, convenient. Again, it can fit in your purse, your backpack. Um, you can use it anywhere, classrooms, the airport, at the grocery store, after somebody just sneezed in their hand and then you shook their hand or something like that. Um, the larger bottle is ideal for having in bathrooms and other areas of the home where you have waterless purifiers. The good thing about this is that this doesn't kill the good bacteria and it doesn't put bad chemicals onto your hands. It cleans, purifies, and suits the skin, and it won't dry out your skin. It won't be stinky, and it's good for you. Uh, there's also foaming hand soap, which is awesome. Um, this doesn't have fragrance. Remember, we talked about that. This lets you just pump it out, get it on your hands, you wash it off. It's perfect. It's clean and powerful, plant-based. It's foamy. It goes a long way. It leaves the skin clean and fresh, but never over-dried. Um, and again, it's made from these essential oils, so it's going to smell great. And your hands won't be stinky, perfumey, and it's not putting dangerous toxins on your hands. Then there's also, we didn't really get into this, but this is, uh, goes along the lines of what you put in your body. Um, I don't think you should brush your teeth with things that you can't pronounce, uh, but this has a complete dental care line. You know, healthy teeth start with products that clean without harsh chemicals. You, you can, um, these is an effective alternative for oral health. It's made with essential oils, uh, it's infused with, with feeds. Um, most of the common oral care products on the market um, today, they like toothpaste and mouthwashes, have toxic ingredients in them. They've got fluoride being one of the main issues. The dangers of fluoride has been documented by many published doctors and researchers. Uh, you can do the research yourself, and I'll also have documentation for you at the end. Uh, Young Living sought out a way to create an oral care line of products that have natural and healthy ingredients. Thus, boom, these oral care uh, line was born. All the products have no fluoride or other harmful and toxic chemicals. And uh, so this allows you to continue to, live, to, to add to living a healthier life. They also taste great. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So also there are other things that don't really, it's not really about toxins in your home, but it's again, like I said earlier, it's about toxins that you put inside of you. Um, but these lozenges, unlike many lozenges, these are pure essential oils and natural ingredients are, are in them. Uh, instead of sugar or artificial flavoring, they're great for ref refreshing taste. They're, they're good to, to boost you up and they're great and effective to support um, without dyes, artificial flavors, or preservatives. There's also a uh, thieves mint. You pop it in your mouth. It's the perfect way to freshen your, your breath after a meal. Again, naturally derived, free of artificial sweeteners, dyes, and preservatives. So it's a great choice that you can feel good about popping in your mouth instead of those mints at the um, checkout at the restaurant or the ones that they bring to your table. And you gotta be careful about those. And then these have cough drops, which is actually, can, they can call it cough drops. And this is considered to be OTC type product, which is equivalent to over-the-counter product. Um, it's a powerful menthol cough drop. And it has triple action formula. Uh, it offers a comfort by relieving coughs, soothing sore throats, and cooling your nasal passages. It's minty, spicy, 
sweet, no processed sugar, dyes, artificial flavors, whatever it is. Uh, they're naturally, again, they're, they're naturally derived ingredients, including Young Living's Pure Therapeutic Great Essential Oils and menthol from peppermint. So, you know, look at it this, it's this way. One legendary formula, so many applications from cleaning surfaces in your home to cleaning your clothes, your dishes, your hands and your teeth. These are the versatile as it is powerful. So many products, you know, each with a myriad of uses that we're proud to do our part in making the world a little cleaner. Not toxic, harmful chemicals laden with a bunch of nonsense that are bad for you, bad for your pets, and bad for the environment. So how can you... Young Living is proud to offer a complete line of home and personal care products uh, infused with Thieves essential oil blend. This is a picture of what's called a starter kit, and this is ideal for those wishing to replace the harmful chemicals in the home with powerful natural alternatives. In this starter kit, there's a 15 milliliter bottle of Thieves, Thieves Aroma Bright Toothpaste, the Fresh Essence Mouthwash, there's two Thieves Household Cleaners, so that's you know, when you use it properly and dilute it correctly, uh, that's a lot of cleaning, multi-purpose, use it all over the place. There's two thieves foaming hand soaps, there's two thieves spray, two thieves waterless hand purifiers, there's a bottle of essential oil called Stress Away, five milliliter, it does exactly that. So I like to say about that. There's Aroma Glide roller filament, which is a roller bottle um, that you can put some of the Stress Away in and roll it on you. There's the Thief Mints, and then there's other supporting products in there because we know by past experience that when you start to use these products like this, you, the people you care about and the people you love, family, friends, that you want to share this with them. So what, what they do is share the Thief Essential Oil. There's um, 10 little bottles that you can put the essential oil in and then cards that tell them what the essential oil is used for. There's also two Ningxia Red um, samples, which is full of antioxidants and it's really just good for you. That's a whole nother webinar on its own. Uh, there's a magazine that'll give you more information. Uh, and then there's other member resources that help educate you about the various products other than these that Young Living, young living carries. So to purchase the starter kit and become a Young Living uh, member, the best thing to do would be to call us at 972-712-0892, and we'll walk you through the enrollment process to become a member. Or you can go to yleoinfo.com and click on become a member. And then you're gonna, it's gonna ask you some questions and then make sure when prompted during the enrollment process, it's gonna ask you what kind of starter kit you want. And then you'll wanna choose the Thieves Premium Starter Kit and then complete your, your membership. And just by the way, your, the membership to Young Living uh, grants you a few things. You can save up to 24% on everything that you purchase. Uh, you can save even more with something called the Central Rewards that can get you to additional 25% savings and more. You can earn free products with monthly promotions. Plus, there's no monthly obligations or membership fees. So um, this is probably one of the smartest things we've done to make our home chemical free um, because it's just so versatile and we know what we're getting. So that just about does it. So I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to join me. I hope that you learned something. I uh, hope you learned something valuable. And I also want to add that, you know, how proud I am of you that you've you know, taken steps toward a cleaner, healthier home and an overall healthy lifestyle. So if you have any questions, you can post them in the chat um, or you can call or email me. You can call, email, call me at the number above. Um, email me at keith at accesscompletewellness.com. Um, and I just want to say this before I sign off. As usual, we will be making this available, this webinar replay available. We'll also include the links uh, that I mentioned and also the sources links to the research on the first half of the webinar uh, that we used to put together this presentation. And all I ask that you give me about seven to 10 days to get this done and then I'll get it to you. So um, with that, there's nothing in the chat. I think I'm gonna sign off. And thank you very much. And look forward in your email to the replay and all the links. So have